Wow, I'm Ariane Esposito. And I'm Morgan Morano. You say ice cream, we say gelato. Ciao, I'm Ariane Esposito. Welcome to Italy, and let's cook real Italian. Aren't they gorgeous? Swiss chard. I knew you said that. I'm in heaven. Okay, that's for you. Sunday sauce. All 20 regions of Italy are fabulous. And every time I do this, I think of my Nonna Galasso because she always made it this way. You want a Goldilocks dough, just right. Who doesn't like basil, especially in the summer? Obviously, you have to have pesto sauce at some point, right? I mean, I'm a cook. Why can't I try it? You're the best. No, you're the best. <laughs> I wish I lived a block away yeah. from this wonderful gelato store. Then again, maybe not, because I really love gelato, especially Morgan Morano's artisanal gelato that keeps happy customers coming back for more. Today, Morgan and I are making our favorite desserts with her gelato. Can't wait to get started. So this is our laboratory in Chestnut Hill, and okay. Sean is our head gelato maker. He does an amazing job extracting the gelato, producing the gelato fresh every morning. So this machine is from Italy? It is, from northern Italy, um, from the province where Venice is. It's a Bravo, and they're known to be the best gelato machine in the world. Mm -hmm. um, I've actually been to their factory. It's an, amazing, uh, it's an amazing machine. And so basically it has the heating element up top, and then the batch freezer down below. Um, when Sean extracts it, we immediately put it in our uh, batch, um, our blast freezer, because that helps encourage microcrystallization. Mm -hmm. So, because when you're extracting it, it's hitting the warm air, and then it's starting to melt. And when you melt, that's ice crystals. Right. You they don't develop, want that. and you don't want that. And um, first and foremost, I'm a big ice cream fan. And when I had gelato, it was the ultimate ice cream. And one of the reasons why is because. Um, not because it's less in butter fat, that's one of the reasons, yeah, so it's yeah. healthier for you. Yeah. Um, and I'll go back to that, but it's served at a warmer temperature. Right. And I was always a soft serve person. Oh, were you really or young? if I got a bowl of American ice cream, which I still love, I would let it melt uh -huh. and then I would eat it. Yeah, and soft. the reason is, is whether or not you realize it, and something that, I've, again, I've, I've really learned and studied over the years, when you eat American ice cream, you let it soften on your palate before you actually enjoy it. Like, so you take a bite of, let's say, mint chocolate chip, and it's always a little icy and cold, uh -huh. and then you enjoy it, and you're like, okay, that was mint chocolate chip, that was delicious. Yeah. The gelato, it's served at that ideal temperature that as soon as it hits your tongue, your palate, yeah. dark chocolate, that's delicious, that's perfect. It's creamy, it's rich, it's dense. And so the other difference is, is that it um, is uh, much denser than American ice cream. Less air whipped into it. Yeah, yeah. a lot less air, and so it's higher quality. Yeah. So what we put in our machine, you know, we get 20% extra out, whereas with American ice cream, they have what is called overrun, which is up to 50% yes. or even you know, higher than that. And so that makes it less quality. So yeah. um, the density makes it feel richer, mm -hmm. whereas in, in reality, it's much healthier for you. And the so. fla it, because it's denser, the flavor is intense. Right, yeah. right. But that has to do with less butter fat too, because yeah. butter fat coats we'll your palate. Yeah. So, so three major differences. Uh -huh. Less butter fat, healthier for you. Yeah. We also make a Sicilian gelato, so there's even less butter fat in it than northern Italian gelato. We make a water-based gelato. So um, it, uh, it definitely allows you to perceive the flavors even more so. And it makes us very unique in the American market because a lot of people don't differentiate between northern and Italian. Northern Italian gelato and Sicilian style gelato, whereas we really highlight the fact that we're a Sicilian gelateria. So the actual, the actual base consists of water, water. milk, cream. Okay. and sugar. No eggs. Um, certain flavors have eggs. Okay. And the reason is, is because when you think about the science of ice cream, you're freezing something that really should just turn into this solid block of ice. But you need sugar and you need things like egg yolk, which right. is an emulsifier, mm -hmm. to help smooth it out, right. to help make it taste better. Because nobody wants to eat icy mm -hmm. ice milk. Yeah. You know, you the great thing about gelato is you don't get a brain freeze. Like yeah. when you eat hard ice cream. Yeah, or a stomach ache, actually. <laughs> right. You know, in this day and age where yeah. a lot of people eat this heavy, 
um, whole milk, heavy cream, a lot of egg yolk ice cream, it actually, you know, you yeah. have a cup and you're like, I'm done eating ice cream for the next week. Mm -hmm. Our gelato creates habitual ice cream eaters. People who never That's eat ice day. cream, they come in <laughs> two or three times Did a week. Did you say to habitual? Get, I'm there. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. They come in two or three times and, and get our little a two little ounce cup. baby cup yeah. and it's the perfect little afternoon yeah. snack. Yeah. And, and that's what we look, and our strawberry, our sorbets, are made with fresh fruit. Um, I eat it for breakfast, and, and quite frankly, I don't see it any different than eating a bowl of strawberries. Yeah. Maybe a little more sugar than mm -hmm. than I would, but um, but you know, it's fresh strawberries, sugar, water. Those are our sorbets, okay. um, our, our strawberry sorbet. And yeah. so you know, you can taste that it's healthier. You can taste that it's lighter. Yeah. How about we make a cake, a Neapolitan type cake? I brought a cake. Sounds awesome. And I think with your gelato, it'll be fantastic. Sounds perfect. And I have a cake as well, a semi fritto that I'd like to show you. Come on, let's make it. Okay. All right, what is the creation we're going to do now? Okay, so we're going to make torta semifredo al cioccolato, which ah, is chocolato. a frozen mousse cake with chocolate. And you can do okay. this with any uh, gelato flavor or sorbet flavor. Today, um, we're going to use my favorite flavor. Whenever anybody ever asks me, it's dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. So we're using okay. our dark chocolate gelato. I've already taken um, a certain amount out in the recipe and letting it sit at room temperature for about 10, 15, 20 minutes. You want that so creamy? Yeah. Yeah, you want it to be nice and soft so that when we fold it into the meringue, which we're about to make, um, and fold it into the whipped cream, it's going to be that perfect um, consistency okay. versus this hard yeah. know, gelato. Which so, would be difficult to do. So. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is a super easy recipe. This is great to make, and it really just takes um, less than 30 minutes, not even 30 minutes. Oh, we'd like um, to hear that, don't yeah. we? Yeah, and so I'm going to take a cake round. I'm going to exclude the bottom. Uh -huh. I'm going to use aluminum foil. This is a fun trick that actually a staff member, okay. Sonia, taught me. She's pretty amazing. Uh -huh. um, yeah. I'm going to fold this. Uh -huh. This comes around, and this is going to act as the bottom. Uh -huh. Okay. Now this is um, cold, right? The mold. Um, no, we're no? going to we're going to chill it. Um, okay. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to get the meringue going because that takes a few minutes. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in um, a thin layer of sponge cake. I'm okay. going to soak it with a little bit of marsala. Mm. Um, and as the meringue's going, then we're going to put this in the blast freezer or a freezer to yeah. chill for about yeah. 20, 30 minutes. Most people wouldn't have a blast freezer at home, but just in their freezer for just about, what, 20 minutes? For about 20 minutes, just to get it nice and cold so that it just helps when you're putting the semifredo, the finished semifredo mixture into it. It's already cold. It's not going to encourage it right. to start melting. Yes. Yeah. Now, this is an Italian meringue. Um, okay. And you want to use an Italian meringue both because you want it to be sweet, because I like sweet things, and the dark chocolate is a bit bitter. But also, um, you want to cook those egg whites. And an Italian meringue allows you to cook right. those egg whites. If you want to use raw egg whites whipped into a meringue with some sugar, that's totally fine as well. It depends on the eggs in your, in your uh, you know, local area. Mm -hmm. But um, we're going to make this Italian meringue here. What consistency do you want this meringue to be? You want it to be um, firm peaks. Firm peaks. Firm peaks. Okay. And I'll show you what that looks like. Okay. Um, like I said, all in all, this is a really easy um, recipe to do. Uh, and you can use leftover gelato if you had a Sunday party yeah. one day. The next day you can do a semi fredo right. cake. It's, it's pretty course. awesome. So. Okay. so we have Italian sponge cake okay. right here. Right. And you can use any cake for the bottom. It okay. doesn't matter. It could be pound cake. Uh -huh. um, and I have a mixture right here um, that because we're a Sicilian style gelato shop, we use uh, Marsala, Marsala wine. Marsala. Yeah, just Marsala Perfectly wine with a little Sicilian. Yeah, with a little simple syrup, right. and that just helps um, the dry cake okay. soften a little bit and uh -huh. make it a little tastier. Yeah. And it, you know, majority of Italian pastry shops always soak their sponge cake in do. some sort of liquid. They do. And so we love using um, the sweet yeah. Marsala yeah. from uh, Sicily. Yeah. Um, if you don't know what that is, Marsala is a fortified wine. So, and it comes from Marsala on the western side. Yes. Yeah, of it's, Sicily. It's great. And we so do you brush the cake or do you put exactly. holes in? Exactly. No, we brush the oh, cake. Okay. And I'm going to go grab a brush and we'll do okay. that. Okay. You really want that to hang off your uh, spatula yeah. so it doesn't fall off. Exactly. Then you know you've got the right consistency. So let's go ahead and proceed with this sponge cake. So here at Marana Gelato we have pre-cut rounds because we do make um, cakes. Yeah. I'm going to just set this right into the pan. So people come into the store and they buy whole cakes or slices of this? Um, whole cakes. We don't yeah. sell it by the slice. Uh -huh. And they have to pre-order them. How do they get it home without it melting? Uh, 
I mean, usually they're not traveling more than 20 minutes. It's no different than an ice they cream They probably cake. eat it in the car, yeah. I think, yeah. So here we have our marsala and simple yeah. syrup. Uh -huh. um, just a nice coating yeah. that we're going to add and brush on to the sponge cake. Mm -hmm. Just give it a little flavor because it's traditionally pretty dry. Yeah. Um, it's really just a, it's really a delicious dessert and it's super easy. So I have the sponge cake nice and um, coated in the Marsala wine mixture. You can see it's no longer dry looking. Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna set that in the freezer to let it get nice and cold for the semi fredo mixture. Um, this still needs a few more minutes, but it's, okay. it's getting there. Into the fridge. Oh yeah, that's looking great. Yeah. What's the ratio of water to milk that you use when you make gelato? Water to milk? Yeah. Uh, well, when you consider that um, there's water in milk. Okay. So you're not, um, add, you're not adding additional water, are you? Or are we do you? add, um, well, we either make it with milk and cream, certain flavors, okay. and other flavors with water and cream. Water and cream. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so it just depends on what you're making exactly. as to the proportion. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So you can see, yeah, that's looking great. Fluffy, beautiful, and it's almost there. Exactly. Yeah. And you can always stop um, and test it quickly. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Those are pretty firm. That looks great. Yeah. Great. And you know, the, at the end of the day, you're going to fold whipped cream into this. You're folding it into the gelato. So it's OK if I'm it's there a little already. soft. Yeah. So now we have our meringue, our whipped, whipped cream, cream, and our gelato. Just those three simple ingredients. Got my spoon ready. OK. So All right, I'm weighing out the meringue. And that bowl, I noticed you chilled it in the freezer. Yes, I yeah. pre-chilled it. And you don't have to, but it's it makes it uh, easier. That looks like about four cups of meringue. Give or take a little. <laughs> you know, when you just add meringue, gelato, and whipped cream, and you mix it together, you're still going to come up with, you know, nice Something amount. Something delicious. But basically, you know, you do the meringue, um, which is almost double what the gelato and the whipped cream yes. is. Yes, okay. Okay, now I'm gonna add the gelato. Oh, can I taste first? Yes. After all, someone has to do it. Wow, that's velvety, fudgy. Oh my God. Dark chocolate, you know, by far is my favorite flavor. Oh jeez, look at this. Okay, so I let it soften. You see it's nice and soft, so yeah. it's gonna incorporate really well with the meringue. Yeah. Okay, and now I'm going to add the whipped cream. Okay. And I'm tearing in between everything. So yes. you put everything on the scale and you tear in between this way you can get the actual measurement. In, in other words, she's adjusting what the weight is of each of the ingredients that she's putting in there. Okay, and there's the whipped cream. Okay. So, that's the mixture. Yeah. Now we're going to slowly mm. fold everything together. And actually what you can do is you can mix the uh, meringue and the gelato first, then fold in the whipped cream. But do you want I'm more of a marbleized look or do you want it all to be uniform? I like it uniform, but okay. it really is up to the person making it. They uh -huh. can do it however they want. But you want to make sure that, you know, at least um, the meringue and the whipped cream has been folded in enough that the gelato has incorporated well into it and there's no clumps. So this is it. Yeah. You see it's nice and uniform for the Beautiful. most part. These little shovel spoons, this is what you eat gelato with, not, you know, nobody licks in Italy, do they? Right. They just, uh, wow. That really changed the whole dynamic of that. It's so meringue -y. It's delicious. Oh yeah, it's a, nice, uh, it's a mm. nice mousse. Yeah. So now, very simply, we're going to just add this right into the cake pan that we uh, Already pre chilled. Beautiful. Wow. And we're going to let it sit in our freezer for two to three hours mm -hmm. um, until it's nice and set, and then we're going to unmold it. Now, it won't really ever get rock hard because semi fredo means partially frozen. Exactly. Yeah. And it will and it will get um, it will soften very quickly yeah. as well. But you want it to stay in in a, in a nice shape and a nice mm -hmm. form so you can serve slices of it right um, to your guests. So wow, there you go. Beautiful. This was a nine incher, wasn't it? This cake. Um, this is an eight, eight inch round. Yeah, okay. it's an eight inch round. And you right. can shake it a little bit to just it sort of 
smooth mm -hmm. it out. Yeah. But you can you can cover it however you want. We can top it with more meringue or yeah. whipped cream, berries, chocolate curls. We can cover the sides. Yeah, you can you put know, another cake um, layer on top exactly. if you wanted There's to. a lot of options yeah. for, for how to do this, but it's very simple <sighs> and um, very Did you tasty. say two hours from now? Yes. Okay, I can wait. Okay, great. Morgan, we're going to start with a frozen cake. Makes sense okay. if we're doing gelato, yes, right? Definitely. So you can make any kind of a butter cake. Uh, you could do, this is just a regular yellow cake that my family likes, but you could also do it with a pound cake. And so I'm cutting the cake because I want to fit it into a mold. So this is just, you know, an aluminum foil pan. You can okay, use great. anything. I mean, you use that nice cake pan, but if you don't, you know, you could use a loaf, a loaf pan for bread, whatever. So, while I'm cutting, I'm going to have you put the cake in. So why don't okay, you perfect. Put, so put do that. I uh, start with a layer of gelato first and then the cake? Nope, first the cake. Okay. Cake goes in, so why don't you put that in, and I will cut. So we need, delicious. we Not need, okay. Just like that? Yeah, that's good. And let me cut. Okay. So. Now, we're going to put, so you want to press down the cake. This is why you want it to be frozen, so you can work with it, to press it into the pan. Okay. And you can make this any size you want to make it. So, okay. So, and I've got it lined so that we can take it out. So we're going to put the pistachio that you made first, first in there. pistachio. Perfect. Yeah, and the reason we're using this is because I'm trying to, this is called a Neapolitan kind of rainbow ice cream cake. You know about the Neapolitan rainbow cookies, Absolutely. right? Uh, those are actually my favorite cookies. Okay, so this is borrowing sure, your own that. idea. And also because these flavors and the colors kind of mimic the Italian flag. So Perfect. All right, so we're putting down pistachio first, and you can see why you want to have the cake frozen, because if it's a, if it's a fragile cake, you don't want all those cake crumbs right. in the gelato. So the gelato is nice and creamy, and it's... That's soft, perfect consistency soft for it. consistency. Yeah. So we just spread it out. And I kind of let, let this chill in the freezer. You can do this the day before, actually. It's actually, or a couple days before. So if you're having a party or something, this is great. Especially good in the summertime. All right, that looks great. Perfect. So now we do the next layer of cake. So now we do the next layer. I think I'm going to have to cut one more layer after we do this. Because... This is going to be a very high cake. All right, so now we want the next one, which is the Fior di Latte. Perfect. And I still have cake under there that I need to get. That looks absolutely fantastic. I can't imagine that this cake could taste any better with the quality of this gelato. This is fantastic. Let's try not to get it in the foil, or the uh, right. plastic wrap, because we have to fold that over. You know, you could add other things to this, too, if you wanted to put nuts in the middle or chopped chocolate, cherries, whatever. It could be a very exotic kind of cake. So that's good. I think that's enough of that. Okay, perfect. Yeah. And now we do the last layer? Well, second first, to last. Second layer. Second to the last layer. So now we put this one on. Again, pushing it down, but also if we can kind of mosey that in there so that it's, you know, get that in there. I, I, whenever I have gelato, I tend to just fill in all cracks yeah. with the gelato. That's okay, so I now do. we need to put, I need to get more cake, but you can start putting on the strawberry. Um, the strawberry. Perfect. Get up more cake. And this is a good example of what happens if you don't have the most perfect slice it's okay because you're never going to see this. It's all going to be covered up in um, uh, whipped cream. So this is going to be our last layer. A little bit more fragile. And sorbet is because they're water-based. They have the tendency to be a bit harder. So yeah. it's better to let the yeah. sorbet sit out a little bit a little longer. Bit. Yes. Um, you know, and you can use the spatula to, to soften it. Oh, look at that color. Gorgeous. Well, strawberries are in season in the summertime, so it's the perfect time to have a dessert like this. Mm, that looks beautiful. And it's very intense. I tasted it. It's just really an intense 
intense flavor. So now we have to patch the top layer, because when I made this last cake, I made a boo-boo, so, but that's okay. Whoops, boo-boos happen in the kitchen. So, don't mind me. Okay. That there. And we take this little piece and put it here. And now we really press on this and cover this whole thing. This looks delicious. Now I need a spoon. Now you need a spoon, okay. So really kind of go around the whole cake. Kind of making it uniform. And, and this, then this is going to get covered with whipped cream? This is going to get, first what we're going to do is we're going to let, freeze this, and then we're going to take it and flip it out okay. the other way, and we're going to cover it with whipped cream. So that Sounds goes in the great. freezer. Okay, great. It's going to take about, well, with your gelato, I would say this needs like a couple hours in the freezer. So why don't you put it in the freezer? Okay, great. And we'll come back to that and add the whipped cream. Okay, Morgan, so you know as well as I do, having been in Sicily, that Sicilians not only eat ice cream in a cone or a cup, they eat it in a brioche. Which is one of the best ways to eat yeah, it. Yeah, which is kind of a sweet bun, very eggy, and sometimes it's toasted. And you put in at least two flavors. So let's fill these, one for you, one for me. Okay, How about do... uh, pistachio, yeah, pistachio and strawberry. Okay. Yeah, good. Oh boy. Some people even toast these ahead of time because they have that, then they have that, the, the warm bun with the cold ice cream. But, and you know, this is what Sicilians will eat for breakfast. This is breakfast in Sicily. This is the ultimate uh, ice cream sandwich in my exactly opinion. Exactly right. You know, I often thought of why don't they do this with like making ice cream cake with cookies, but their cookies really don't hold up to this kind of a thing. So that looks great. So we could put the, our little bun on. Just like, look at that. That so, speaks to me of Sicily. Okay. And this one, let's do uh, chocolate, and we have this gorgeous melon. I like to put intense flavors together, colors, because it looks really, really pretty. So chocolate. We have this great milk chocolate oh. gelato right here. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Good. And. So we serve these weekends only at Murano Gelato, the brioche. The brioche, yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a specialty item for yes. sure. Yes, that's good. Okay. okay, so. Wow, that's amazing. This is the best ice cream sandwich. Breakfast Sicilian style. Mm. Wow. Thank you. Can't so, wait. I mean, it's a little large, I know, but. I'm up to the challenge. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Gorgeous. So, I want to. It's a piece Thank for you. you very much. Okay. And all right, now. And I will cut a slice of. Look at that one. I can't. Cut another one. Beautiful. So, there you have it. Until I see you, Nella Cucina, again, I'm Mariana Esposito. And I'm Morgan Morano. Ciao. Ciao.